All right, so here we're going to talk about solving or finding angles uh, in some word problems. And what I mean by solving ang <coughs> finding angles is really solving these like equations. So what I mean is, for instance, um, I've got the, the cosine of an angle is equal to 1 over 2, and I'm expected to solve for theta without a calculator. So it's key that I can't use a calculator. Okay, that's important because we want the answers to be exact, not decimal approximations. And um, and if I'm gonna if I'm gonna ask you to do this without a calculator, right, the nice thing about that is you know that your answers must come from the only two things, the only at this point, the only two triangles we know. that don't require calculators to get the answers. And that's our 30, 60, 90. And our 45, 45, 90. So it might be a good idea, like when you do these problems or you're doing, doing practice problems or you're taking a test, it might be a good idea to, uh, to just, until you've got them memorized completely, the corner of your page Draw these special triangles. Okay, it's really helpful. So, so if the cosine of an angle is equal to 1 over 2, what I have to do is I have to figure out what angle makes that true. And in order to do that, you've got to remember what the definition of cosine is. Okay, it's adjacent over hypotenuse. And you also need to know which triangle has the key sides, two, one, the 1 and the 2. So, uh, Careful, that has a root 2, so it's not the 45, 45, 90. It's definitely the, the 30, 60, 90. Now, if the cosine of the angle is 1 over 2, and cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, well, then it must be, that angle must be the 60-degree angle, because if you if you focus on the 60-degree angle, all right, pretend for the moment that that's where you're standing, that's your reference angle, then the adjacent side is a 1, and the opposite is a 2. So that must mean that the angle... Is 60 degrees. And while we're on the subject, let's just give the radian equivalence while we're here. Okay, you don't have to give both if it's not asked. If it says give your answer in radians, you gotta give it in radians, but this is just good good practice to go back and forth. Okay, so at least that little guy. What about the tangent of theta is equal to one? Well, the tangent of theta is equal to 1. That doesn't look like a ratio, right? But we can make it 1 because 1 is also 1 divided by 1. And so now we think, okay, tangent is opposite over adjacent. And what angle, when I do the tangent of it, gives me a ratio of 1 over 1? And it looks like if I'm over here at my 45 degree angle, the opposite divided by the adjacent is precisely what I wanted. So that angle must be 45 degrees in radians by the 4. And how about the last one? The sine of theta is root 3 over 2. So that must mean that if I'm standing, if I'm standing, uh, at an angle, the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse is root 3 divided by 2. So I think if I stand here, then my opposite side is root 3 and the hypotenuse is a 2. So I think that means that the angle is, again, like in the first problem, 60 degrees or pi over 3. Okay, so that that's a first taste of solving equations. It's, it's like you have to think backwards a little bit. Um, looking at these triangles from a different angle, from a different uh, different angle, no pun intended. All right, um, so those are okay. How about this one? This is a, just a mini word problem. Uh, it's not even a word problem. It's just a mini uh, problem. We have to so uh, solve for x. I'm given an angle and the opposite, and I'm given a, a leg of the triangle. Now, solving for x used to be impossible before we knew the trig functions. The only way we could solve a triangle would be to uh, use the Pythagorean theorem, but now that we have the trig functions, sine, cosine, tangent, etc., we can figure out that, that side. It's the hypotenuse. I've got an angle here, I've got the opposite side and the hypotenuse. So the, the trick is, what trig function 
by definition, relates an angle to its opposite side and the hypotenuse. And if you kind of just think, for the, think about that for a moment, you should agree that that's sine. And so the sine of 34 degrees, right, the sine of the angle is equal to opposite divided by the hypotenuse. Okay? Now what I like to do in this part, so we have to solve this mini equation for x. Uh, what I like to do, some people like to put this into the calculator right away. What I like to do is I like to right, divide it by 1, and now I can sort of, I can cross multiply, right? And by cross multiply, all I mean is multiply both sides by x, but you can also be just cross multiplying here. So x times the sine of 34, oops, x times the sine of 34, is equal to 15 times 1, times 1, not necessary, and then divide both sides by sine of 34. Remember, sine of 34 is a number, so you can divide by it. All right, so now I just go to my calculator and do 15 divided by sine of 34. So we get on our calculator. We make sure we're in degree mode in this problem because the, the angles are given in degrees. And then we do sine of uh, 15 divided by, what was it? It was 15 divided by sine of 34. Okay, and we're going to round to thousandths. 26.824. All right, let's do, let's finish with a quick word problem and then we'll be done. So I'll read it. Hopefully you can pause, you know, pause it and copy it down. Leah Steele's grounded for misbehaving over the weekend. Her parents are making her paint, her, uh, paint, ooh, paint. It's a typo there, look at that. To paint his house, to paint her house. I must have chose a different student last year. If Leah leans a 10 foot ladder against the house so that it forms a 35 degree angle with the ground, how high up from the ground is the top of the ladder? Okay, so it looks like we have a ladder, a 10-foot ladder, leaning against the house. So you can draw your house if you want. And I'll draw my, my ladder leaning against it. Now we know that's 10 feet. And we know that must be, just the way houses are built, that must be a 90-degree angle. And it says that the ladder forms a 35 degree angle with the ground. So this is the ground, that's the ladder. So if it forms a 35 degree angle with the ground, that must be the 35 degrees right there. And now we need to know what we have to find here. What's nice is we got our triangle, so we probably have to find the side of the triangle. High up from, how high up from the ground is the top of the ladder? So there's the top of the ladder. How high up from the ground is it? So we want to find this height right here, so maybe we'll call it H. And now we think what trig function relates this angle to that side to the hypotenuse. So an angle at its opposite side and the hypotenuse, once again, coincidentally, it's not always sine, but in this case it is. It's the sine. So the sine of 35 degrees is opposite over hypotenuse, h over 10. Notice a cosine wouldn't have, wouldn't have done it. If you did cosine, it would be adjacent over hypotenuse. That would be if the word problem asked for this side. But we're asking for that. Okay, and this one uh, is not so bad. You multiply both sides by 10. And you get 10 times the sine of 35 is equal to h. And we put that in our calculator. 10 times the sine of 35. I did 1 times the sine. 10 times the sine of 35. 5.736, 5.736, and we got to talk about uh, units here. The units are in feet, so that is 
our answer.